Hey yo, this is another Tuesday toy photography tutorial and we are doing a photo walkthrough. I just got Omega and I wanted to do a full bad bat shot without crosshair of course, but honestly I don't really like Omega and she's still in that annoying phase on this show. I can easily see her becoming cooler later, but either way the face on the figure is whatever, so my original intention was to not show her face. Also, when I was first thinking of the shot, I did have the Beatles Abbey Road cover in mind, and also like just the happy kid walking pose for Omega. I did, however, have someone on Instagram make a comment of what it reminded them of, and for sure, that was a final inspiration, even though I didn't know at first. I'll mention that one at the end. Before setting them up, I just wanted to get them in some decent walking poses. I had Wrecker in a more fun pose at first, but I will change him later on to a more scared pose. I also got this stuffed toy over on Etsy. Now I'm going to throw the materials down. I got a handful of big sticks that I picked up from my local park. You always got to keep the ones that look like trees. And I'm also going to use that stick forest diorama that I put together a while ago. When it came to standing the sticks, I ended up deciding to hang them from a C-stand. This was pretty poorly done with tape, but I knew the tops weren't coming out, so it didn't really matter how it looked, as long as the trees were up. I then wanted to make it seem like an alive forest rather than dead trees. This kit was bought from a home store. It's used to make home accents and fake plant stuff. There wasn't really a plan here, but I just wanted to make sure that there was a decent amount of green stuff sticking to be able to see from behind our squad. And this random vine wire was something I also got at the home store and it has lights. On to the hardest part of all of this is setting the squad up. This big stick or log is definitely one of my favorites so I knew I wanted to use it as the base main log, but I didn't realize how uneven it was. If it was just one or two figures I could have balanced them but not five. So I brought out my little wire stands as well as both of the clamp rigs I have. At first, I thought having Omega in front would be more fun, but I changed it to Hunter at the lead. I also decided to give Omega the doll instead. For the lighting, I knew I wanted it to be dark. The lights on the vine helped light the background, while the main light source was just a loom cube that I was holding up. I wanted it to mainly backlight them and some of the background. If you didn't catch any vibes from this already, the inspiration I mentioned earlier is where the wild things are. And with the edit, I just wanted to keep this pretty dark, I didn't really do that much. Hope this helps. Another thing I might do later on is some Photoshop speed edit videos, just to post some extra content. And tomorrow is Star Wars day, so I might do a Star Wars video tomorrow. Remember to go create and inspire. Peace.